will be a clear winner and a clear loser. Mark my words. Plus, speaking of Mark, Mark Frisco will be the guest of Bobby Fish in the fish tank. But we kick off with singles action. Here we this go. This match is set for one ball. Introducing first, wrestling in Parkside, New York. Weighing 191 pounds, Will Ferrara. Great opportunity for Will Ferrara here tonight. We're gearing up for Death Before Dishonor. It's Friday night, the 19th. We're gonna be in Las Vegas, and it is gonna be a very, very memorable night. But what an hour we have here, a world title. Main event, Jay Lethal, Colt Cabana, the rematch from Global Wars that was ruined by Bullet Club, but now one of the hottest stars ever to kick off his Ring of Honor career. His opponent, wrestling out of Auckland, New Zealand, weighing 200 pounds, Jay White. And that's right, Jay White, you heard from Auckland, New Zealand, already an international world traveler. So much potential with this guy, and he just screams out. He's got all the tools, but Nigel, what has impressed you so far with Jay? Really, it's the attitude, you know. He looks confident, and he comes from training. You look at a lot of the guys who've gone through that New Japan dojo, starting back with guys like Two Cold Scorpio, you know. They learn the way to do this right, and then they go. And you saw the tail of the tape there. The uh, size advantage will favor Jay White, but uh, we'll see what Ferrar can do. Ferrar, in many ways, the uh, heart and soul of Ring of Honor, uh, part of the ROH dojo, in fact, uh, Prospective wrestlers looking to begin their professional wrestling career, just like Jay White, just like Will Ferrar can do so at the ROH Dojo. Go to ROHWrestling.com for more information. So we'll see what happens here as these two men meet for the first time. Shoots him for the arm. A lot of great trainers have helped uh, Jay White along the way, but Ferrar has had some fine, fine training as well. Yeah, he's been in a couple of uh, camps that I've done from time to time. You see a very simple wrist lock. Haven't been in the ring with some. Look at that, keeps hold of the wrist lock. As I said, if you haven't been in the ring, if you haven't really you know, understand how dangerous a hold that can be, you just keep that wrist lock on. A lot of pressure, not just on the wrist, but on the shoulder joint as well. It's a beautiful way out of it. And you have yeah, the escape the follow up, the arm drag, head scissor, counter, white kicks out. Lovely. Even match up. Just couldn't keep hold of that wrist lock. We'll see whether he'll go for it again or we'll maybe change his strategy here. Giving up a little bit of size to white. Duck under, go behind into the side headlock. going to change the direction of this. Jay White now sends Ferrar to the corner. Ferrar gets that boot up. He goes to the second rope. Very explosive athlete as well, Ferrar. Nice. I think White, for a second there, thought about rolling to the outside. Thought better of it. Montreal cradle and two. Wait. Maintains control and gets another near fall, almost to three. Whoa. Turns it to a chop. I think that's a bad idea from Ferrara. Why? Well, I'd have to give the advantage in terms of strikes. And now, after the knockdown, the elbow, just a one count. Jay White has shown a lot of explosion, but also a, a, a tremendous grasp of the fundamentals. Yeah, as I said, when you come out of that New Japan dojo, that's what they start you off with the fundamentals. Before you even get put on a show, you have to know A to B before you can think about C to D. Nice. Maintains control of the left arm. Hammer up the arm. Take it forward the legs. Nice stretch on the right hand there. Look at the torque there on the wrist. Whoa! Whoa. Very little that Ferrara can do here. Oh, he's got to be, got to watch out for that. Now, shoulders are down. Now, Ferrara needs to create some space here, get that hand away from Jay White. 
Not punch him with it. That's a mistake, Will. Snapmare Takeover maintains control. So our main event fans, of course, Colt Cabana, Jay Lethal, Ring of Honor World Championship, and the looming specter of Adam Cole and Bullet Club. I know you mentioned right off the bat, extra security will be at ringside. Extra security, but I've said to the boys, I said, look, I want a clear winner and a loser. You come out here, you interfere with this, there will be a six-month suspension, no pay. Well, Adam Cole has already been told that as long as you are matchmaker, no more world title opportunities after what he and Bullet Club did to Jay Lethal. As now Ferrara charges in with the elbow. continues when we come back. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. If you are on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24-7 to help you. Call the health hotline right now for details toll-free. Our friendly representatives are standing by now to take your call. We also have other pain-relieving braces available for shoulder, ankle, and your back. You may be eligible to receive these items and more at little or no cost to you as well. Call right now for details toll-free. Operators are standing by. Call 855-828-9723. That's 855-828-9723. 9723. Again, 855 828 9723. That's 855 828 9723. We're back on Ring of Honor. It's two young kids here with a bright future. Will Ferrara take it on Jay White. Caught him. White is down. Is he out? Is it over? Oh. No. Have to say that would have been an upset, Kevin. And a great feather in the cap of Will Ferrara. Earlier on, you saw what Jay White did to the hand of Will Ferrara, and that hand is stinging. Ferrara is in some trouble, but he's fighting through the pain. Okay, maybe there for a full Nelson, perhaps. He's got a half Nelson on. With those injured fingers, going to be tough to cinch it in. Even just making a fist there as he came charging towards White is difficult for Ferrara to do. White connects. <laughs> Upper cut forearm as he charges in. Runs through. The brain buster there. Vertical suplex and now White. Will take flight. If he can connect with this missile drop kick, it might be over. Nails him. Nails him with the missile drop kick. Center of the chest, two. And Ferrara kicks out. Just two. If I was going to nitpick, just didn't get enough body weight across Ferrara's shoulders there. That left shoulder, nothing pinning it to the mat, which was why Ferrara could just get out of the last second. But now, was that a punch? Was that a forearm? If he's got to be smart, he's got to use the forearm. White's egging him on, perhaps knowing that that hand's injured. Ferrara refusing to give in to the pain, though, standing toe to toe with Jay White. And the switch. Oh! Underneath. Face first goes Jay White. Leg is hooked. Referee position two. Oh, that close. Very close. And you can see Ferrara there with the pinfall attempt, trying to get as much of his body weight across the shoulders of Jay White. Must have heard me talking. Now that hand's definitely damaged. Yeah, you can see the redness of his fly. Oh, that drop kick absolutely scintillating. Oh. On the money. Yurinagi and the leg is hooked too, and a kick out. But Ferrara in a world of hurt, a world of danger now. Here we go. Got the fingers clasped, and this is the Kiwi Crusher. The leg hook two. It is over. The winner of the match, 
Jay White! The Kiwi Crushers fouled every opponent that Jay White has been able to clasp it on. And the rising star of Jay White continues to brighten. No doubt about it, this guy has a very bright future here. So does Will Ferrara there. Gave it his all. I think that hand is still troubling him. And if it's knock, his, his neck certainly will be. Glad to see a code of honor here after a great match. Fans, right now, let's take you to a special announcement regarding Death Before Dishonor on August 19th.